So I'm going to read a, a poem called Rasa. Rasa refers to the Indian theory of aesthetics, which states that a work of art should evoke um, emotional relish. Now the two stories, both the stories refer to Lord Shiva and his consort uh, Shivagami. In the first story, Shivagami kills herself because uh, she's humiliated by her father's uh, treatment of her husband. Now Shiva goes into a dance of rage. He dances across the cosmos uh, uh, in Tandava, which is a dance of anger. And as he dances, globs of her flesh fall on different parts of the world. But the story goes that in India, where her flesh fell, uh, Hindu temples were built. Now this is a metaphorical claim for the sacred power invested in Hindu temples. So this is a kind of empowering story for women. Now there's another story, which I'm using in this poem. In this story, uh, a dance competition takes place between Shiva and Parvati. Parvati is a reincarnated uh, Shivagami. Now, it is an evenly matched contest as they dance. But at one point in the dance, uh, Parvati's earring falls to the ground. And Shiva, without missing a beat, picks the earring up with his foot and continues dancing. But because Parvati is a woman and modest, of course she couldn't lift her leg up and do the same thing. So, now that puts us in our place, doesn't it? So I'm going to read this poem. It's page. Those of you who have a book, it's page 33. Yeah. Rasa. She dances, he sculpts. Popular movie magic, Chitraleka Amrapali. While we dream, temple walls vibrate with an -ahata. This is she, Shivagami, wrapped across his heaving shoulders, dropping globs of her flesh all over the globe. As her Shiva leaves sculptural motifs on the Gopras north and south. What supports the figure? This dancing with his dead wife on his shoulders, what Rasa is awakened dancing on death? A glob of her flesh drops searing yellow, a karana licking dance and geometry with the love of man and woman, a nirtha aesthetically pleasing in the independent moves of the torso. Haunted by elements of Hindu iconography, the dancer's knees bend right angles to the audience. Watch her lift that hearing off the floor, unashamedly woman, performing the foot requirements for the variations possible in particular legends. Feet are fundamental in proving no love is anatomically impossible for the woman dance to death to the cadence of falling flesh. Dark and wonderful she moves, still a poet's delight and inspiration. In the poet's mind connecting is goddess, sacrifice and power, the dance master sculpt, wielding the bow and shooting the arrows that support the figure in the battlefield.